Now, last month, we launched a new spacecraft as part of a re-energized space program that will send American astronauts to Mars. And in two months, to prepare us for those missions, Scott Kelly will begin a year-long stay in space. So good luck, Captain. Make sure to Instagram it. We're proud of it. Hey everyone, how y'all doing? Happy New Year, hope you're all doing well. It's also no question that NASA recently received a huge budget for 2016. What you just saw was President Obama's 2015 State of the Union address in which he highlighted NASA's big plans for the future and commended Scott Kelly for his commitment to the program. In all for 2016, NASA received a little more than $19.2 billion, almost $750 million more than what was requested. We see that on one hand we have the world's most powerful leader signing off on huge programs and on the other we have the world's best scientists leading them. One such program was the creation of a habitation module that NASA must build by 2018 that just might make deep space explorations to planets like Mars finally a reality. Let's check it out. The program is expected to cost almost $55 million, and though NASA's lead engineers and directors are fairly low-key about the whole thing, especially regarding facts like testing, we have a rough sense of what this could mean for upcoming space missions. The Deep Space Habitat program is a conceptual design intended to support a crew of four for deep space explorations beyond lower Earth orbit. Initial concept missions are planned for either 60 or 500 day configurations, composed mostly of International Space Station delivered hardware, the Orion spacecraft, which we'll talk about a little later, and other various support craft. It'll also come equipped with its own standard international docking system should the need arise. Developing a deep space habitat would not only help keep a crew alive for over a year, but also help them explore cislunar space and other near Earth asteroids. It'll also lay the groundwork for the longer duration habitats that are required for explorations to Mars and beyond. Keep in mind that it only takes about three days to get to the moon, but over a year to get to Mars, so technologies in the past can't necessarily be applied to situations like this. We've seen stuff like this have massive success in the past, like NASA's Orion spacecraft, which recently passed its test flight with flying colors. Orion is a deep space capsule that took many of its design principles from the initial Apollo missions, but this time with significantly advanced technologies to take us to Mars and beyond. Orion is capable of handling up to 21 days of active crew time and up to 6 months of quiescent time. Its main purpose during the missions to Mars will primarily be for small crew rotations and transporting supplies to and from the International Space Station. And its test flight showed us one really important thing. We're capable of re-entering manned aircraft into the Earth's atmosphere from beyond the lower Earth orbit, which was previously considered an indomitable task. But keep in mind, we're trying to fly to Mars, and we can't do it without a space habitat. We might have the module, but not the larger atmosphere for surviving. And that's what NASA's upcoming project seeks to solve, and a lot of people are excited about it. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.